Hey everybody, Dino here, and welcome to my world, the world of technology. Today I thought I'd show you how to use Task Manager and how to check your performance with it and stop programs and all sorts of cool things that aren't necessarily cool unless you need to do them. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is Task Manager right here. I'm going to close it and in, in, in show you how to start it. Uh, one way to start it is you can hit Control-Alt-Delete and click on Task Manager, and it will bring this up. The other way you can do it is, let's close this. If we go down here to the taskbar and right-click on it, you'll see right here Task Manager, and if we click on Task Manager, it opens it up. So it's, it's pretty easy to open, and you probably already know how to open it. You've probably done it before. So when we first come into a task manager, we see a view like this generally. And these are just the programs that are running. And uh, you may have already seen this view before. And uh, so if you want to stop a particular uh, application, you can just select it and hit end task and it will stop it. Uh, so that's a really useful um, thing to do with task manager and a lot of people know that already but there's a thing down here it says more details and if we click on that it will show us more details and the details it shows us is it shows us um, everything that's running but not just the apps that we saw before under apps right here this top section that's by default that's what it shows you it just shows you what's running and it doesn't show you the details like this view does but it will also show you the background processes. And the background processes are things that are running that are like services and things that you don't necessarily see a user interface for. Some of these things you see down here sometimes. If you click on this little up arrow down here, you'll see all these icons. Like right here, there's antivirus running. And other things that are kind of running in the background. And you can right click on a lot of these and bring up interfaces for them or do things with them. But you don't see them as a window typically. So uh, we can we can sort this. The thing about this list that's uh, very useful is we can take a look at what's going on. Now by default uh, it could be it's I believe it's by default it just runs you know kind of an alphabetical order uh, and that keeps everything so you can kind of see what what stuff is popping up. But you've got these different things like how much CPU, how much memory, how much disk, how much network each app is using. And if you're interested in figuring out the performance or if there's a problem or something uh, or what's going on with the machine, we can sort the apps and processes by this. So let's go by CPU time. So these are the apps that are currently using the most CPU time. And, there, and there's the services as well. So by putting, um, by sorting it by CPU time, you can see if something's taking up a lot of uh, CPU. And uh, one problem with this view is things jump around because things are, are changing. Some things will, will start to take up uh, CPU time, and when they're done with the task, they drop back to the bottom of the, the list. Uh, so it's almost hard to grab some of these things because if you see something go, I wonder what that is, it may disappear. But if something is consistently up at the top, a little bit easier to grab, a little bit, bit easier to see. And you can always read its name before it switches and, and go by, sort by name again and then go find whatever process it is you were interested in looking at and uh, either stop it or just look at it. The other thing you can do is you can go over here and sort by memory to see what programs are using up the most memory. And those aren't um, necessarily even doing any, anything. They may not be using up CPU time at the time. They're just taking up memory. So you might have something sitting idly in the back, particularly if you open a lot of um, programs that ever shut them down. Uh, you might have something in the background that's using up a lot of memory unnecessarily. So you can find it by ordering it by this and close it down. And then we can also look to see what applications are currently using the most disk. Now up at the top it has the total amount of um, of the resources that are, are being used. So when it says like 
percent CPU. That's how much of uh, the CPU total kind of processing time is being used. The same with the memory. It will show you how much total memory is the percentage of the total memory. So if you're using a hundred percent, that's not really good because because uh, your machines are going to start to use more disk. So if you see a lot of disk usage consistently, that may mean that there's a problem with memory a lot of times. The memory, you don't really want to be up too high um, too long. So you want some uh, headroom where there's more memory it can use if it needs to. And the CPU time also, if you see it spike up really high, like 70% a lot, uh, then uh, you need to take a look at why it's doing that. And uh, you can also get an idea of how much network is being used by which applications looking at that. Now another tab that's really useful here in Task Manager is Performance. And uh, this is, I use this all the time to see that there's a problem with the machine because you can see, oh, is it using up a lot of CPU uh, or memory or disk? And it shows you uh, all the disks, including uh, solid state disks and hard disks. It shows internet, uh, how much uh, GPU time's being used up. So depending on what it's using up, it gives you a clue to what might be wrong with the machine. Like if it's using a lot of memory, uh, th then it will also tend to be using a lot of disk. And so, so a lot of times just by upgrading the memory in the machine, you get a lot better performance. Uh, the other thing is if you're using a hard drive, a lot of times you'll see if it's using a hard drive. A hard drive is slower than a solid state drive, and so in some cases that can slow down the performance, particularly for things where it needs to be accessing the disk a lot. And so sometimes you can actually switch from a hard drive to an SSD and improve performance greatly. And uh, you can see that here, like um, how much uh, how much drive is being used. A drive being used a lot also indicates that you may be low on memory and you need more memory or you need to shut some processes down that you're not using really. Uh, so those are all things that you can kind of look at within the performance. Uh, another tab that's uh, one of the more useful tabs is the startup tab right here. And this shows you all the stuff that starts up. And this is something you, you may want to know because... Uh, these are a lot of these startup uh, applications are are running in the background as uh, processes, and um, so you may, or as services, and you so you may want to look at here to see if there's stuff you really don't need and you can shut down. And so that's a quick way to see what's coming up on startup. A lot of programs will put a startup program. Uh, in so that they can start quickly or monitor something or do something and a lot of times you don't need those and they're just taking up system resources particularly if you don't have a lot of uh, extra system resources or if you don't have a powerful machine this user tab right here just tells the users that are logged in this is not very useful in most cases when you're looking at a desktop because usually there's only one uh, person logged in and that is you uh, this is usually used for servers uh, where there are multiple people logged in doing things and and you can you can check how much um, resources they're using in but it can also be used on a workstation if you have people remoting into it uh, or, or or multiple people logging in and, and you're using the workstation as a server these are the details of uh, all the programs that are running right now. And then finally, there's all the services that are running under the services tab. So that's just kind of an overview of task manager and some of the things you can do with it and how you can look at the performance and how your machine is running. Uh, I'm Dino and this has been Dino's Tech World and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.